the Casa Magna Oscuro in Toro. Hello, my name is Gavin Bircham. Welcome to another fantastic cigar review. This cigar, the Oscuro by Casa Magna, is a follow-up to the Casa Magna Colorado. And the Colorado was very famous because it got Cigar of the Year in 2008. I will be reviewing the Colorado in the near future. But today's cigar is also fantastic. I'm already a fan of this cigar, but I've never broken down the flavors. So Oscuro means uh, the wrapper is much darker. Now it's darker than a Maduro. Sometimes it's called a double or a triple Maduro. And that's because the wrapper has been fermented for a much longer period of time. It's got like a sweet barnyard flavor to it. It's a gorgeous looking wrapper. It's not quite jet black. Some Oscuro wrappers are black as night, black as charcoal. This has got a dark brown with some really dark hued areas. It's very evenly rolled. It's almost perfectly smooth. It's got a nice velvet feel to it. Not too much tooth. The seams are invisible. It's a double cap. It's pretty neat. And it's in my favorite size, the Toro 6x52. Can't go wrong with the Toro. Anyway, let's get it cut up and start smoking. All right, off the first light, I'm getting a strong charcoal and meatiness with a little bit of a pepper on the finish. Very, very dark flavors. So I don't know if it's gonna stick with this like charcoal meat, you know, if you overcook a steak, it's like that. It's got a little oil slick on my mouth. Interesting start. I'll keep smoking. I'll get back in touch with you guys during the first third. Okay. 14 minutes in, so far, great performance. As you can see, the burn is not razor sharp, but not needing any light ups or attention. It seems to be self-correcting. The ash is holding on well, nice and straight. A little bit of flowering there, but it hasn't been flaking on me or anything like that. Flavor-wise, I'll say it's about a medium to full. I'm getting a lot of meaty charcoal leather. Very delicious flavors and exceptionally smooth. I've actually aged this, <clears throat> got a nice oil slick in it. <clears throat> I've actually aged this in my humidor for maybe six months to a year. I don't remember. I've got a five pack of these and this is the last one. But yeah, it's been almost a year in my humidor and it is so smooth. No complaints there. The draw is absolutely perfect and the flavors are great. I'll keep smoking this and I'll get back in touch with you guys during the second third. All right, 42 minutes into this fantastic cigar. Still medium full bodied. I would say the strength is about a medium. I'm feeling the effects, but just barely. Flavor wise, I've had a hard time putting my finger on it, but I'm getting a woodiness with some charcoal and pepper on the draw. And then I'm getting like a bitter charcoal finish. Now, some people think bitter sounds like it doesn't taste good, but I actually don't mind bitterness. Like I actually really enjoy a bitter black coffee. So that's not a negative adjective in my definition, but to each his own. I haven't needed to touch it up, but it's getting a little bit of a, it's canoeing a little bit down the side. But besides that, good smoke output. Ash is holding on in about inch clumps. It's burning nice and slow, and I haven't had to relight it once. So good on the construction. Anyway, I'll keep smoking and I'll get back in touch with you guys during the final third. Okay, one hour, 40 minutes in, wrapping this cigar up. Starting to get some burn issues at the end here, getting a little bit more moist. Some people really don't like that word, but it's definitely getting a little bit more damp, if that you know sounds better to the ear. The flavors have transitioned a little bit. The charcoal has been steady throughout the whole smoke, but there's a subtle licorice flavor in there. I don't really like licorice, but very, very subtle, and I actually really enjoy it because it's a very kind of rare flavor to get in cigars. I haven't had any cigars besides this one that I can recall. But also my favorite transition is the meatiness has come back from the first third 
back in this, the, the very end of the third third. So, but it's actually very hot now, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Final smoke time, one hour, 30 minutes. I guess you could get one hour, 40 minutes out of it if you really wanted to smoke on it, but I don't particularly like hot cigars or warm cigars. Final thoughts, the Casa Magna Oscuro is a great smoke. I'm gonna have to get back to you on which one I like more, the Oscuro or the Colorado, when I do my Colorado review in the future. Both of them are phenomenal smokes, and if you haven't had an Oscuro wrapper before, you should definitely give it a try. It's old. Maybe that's the reason why that charcoal flavor carried through, but I don't know, you never really know. There's so many different tobacco leaves in there. You can't just say the wrapper is the reason for all of it, but the wrapper definitely does give a lot of flavor. It's a medium strength, so even though it's a medium to full-bodied cigar, you can definitely enjoy it even if you're a little bit sensitive to nicotine. Also, the Colorado and the Oscuro are very reasonably priced. With that, I'm gonna end this cigar review. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out our other cigar review videos as well as our podcasts and how-to cigar videos. With that, enjoy your smokes, people.